For anyone that's curious about commuting by bike or just looking for a few extra tips, you've come to the right place. Bike commuting will save you money on fuel. It's good for mind, body, soul, and it's just plain fun. But first, you're gonna need a bike. Before we can do that, we've gotta figure out what size bike you ride. And the easiest way to figure this out is to measure your inseam with your shoes off, then use the bike size chart, which I've linked in the description below. The most affordable way to get a bike for commuting is used. There are three main resources I like for finding used bikes. The first is Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Good deals to be had, but you have to know what you're looking for and be prepared to haggle and or repair your new bike. The second is to search community bike shop in your area. Good prices and run by passionate volunteers. Plus, they're often non-profit, meaning the money goes back into the community. But you need to live in an area that has one of these, and their inventory can be hit or miss based almost entirely on volunteer donations. The third option and sponsor of today's video is the Pros Closet, the world's largest online retailer of certified pre-owned bikes. And they've got thousands of bikes in all the categories, in all the sizes. Plus, you can trade in your old bike for cash or credit towards the purchase of a bike that you actually want. I'll put a link to them down below. Now that you've got your sweet new ride, we need to make sure your saddle height is in the correct position for a comfortable, efficient pedal stroke with full leg extension. The easiest way to do this is to sit on the bike and when the pedal's in the furthest away position, your heel should just barely be touching it. Oh, and to start, just run flat pedals. It makes life a lot easier. As you get more into cycling, then you can dive into the wide and wonderful world of clip-in pedals. What a wonderful world it is. Carrying things. There's no right or wrong way to carry things on a bike. It's a very personal decision. Some people like racks, panniers. I personally like a backpack. One thing to keep in mind, the more things you put on your bike, the heavier it gets and the harder it is to maneuver. Each system has its pros and cons. I encourage you to pick one, experiment, and find what works for you. If you're going to be commuting in the city, you're going to need a lock. I like these U-locks because they're compact and durable. I made a whole video about locks. I'll put that in the description. How you lock your bike matters. Next, you're going to need a helmet. Find something that fits your head, your budget, and you can tolerate the way it looks. Your local bike shop is the best source for this. Plus, they like bikes even more than you do. You're also gonna need some lights. USB chargeable is a good way to go, but don't go too crazy, as these often get worn out and lost. Just what happens. And while not 100% necessary, a bottle cage and water bottle is tremendously helpful. You'll always have water when you need it, where you need it. And a little self-respecting pro tip, lube your chain. You can get some from the bike shop, read the directions. You do not want to be that person out there with a squeaky bike. Bikes get to take different roads than cars do. And the best way I've found to figure out what these routes are in the city specifically is Google Maps with the cycling option selected. Hands down, this is the easiest navigation method for bike commuting. For this to work seamlessly, you're going to need to mount your phone to your handlebars. There's a lot of different systems out there that work. I personally have been a fan of the quad lock system. Find what works for you and enjoy the ride. If all goes according to plan, you'll become obsessed with cycling and start planning crazy overnight adventures like this. Yes and one day adventures like this with other like-minded individuals. Welcome to cycling. We embrace you with open arms. Come on, get in there. Come on, get in there. Come on, WG.